I'm Kelsey Henningsen Kay. I'm a PA at Ortonville Area Health Services, and we just wanted to visit with you a little bit today about the recent CDC recommendations that we wear masks in public, and um, this includes any homemade masks or fabric masks. Um, the most important things about masks um, that you might wear at home are that they're multiple layers. So for most people, that's going to be uh, two or three layers of fabric and that they have ear loops or um, ties uh, to use behind your head um, and that they don't gap a lot around your face. So we'll go through some ins and outs of fabric masking. Um, I'm going to include primarily fabric masking because we want to leave the N95s and surgical masks that are available for our healthcare workers. So hopefully you all have access to some of the masks. If you don't, um, we do have masks available when you come in um, here as well. Just as a reminder, um, the fabric masks that we're having people wear out in public are not meant to keep you from getting the virus um, or the COVID-19, but they're really meant to keep you from giving it to someone else. Uh, the recommendation is really geared towards making sure that people aren't spreading their own uh, droplets or viral particles to other people. So if we have everyone masking, um, the hope is that we can really cut down on any transmission in the community when you're doing those activities that you simply have to leave your home for, um, such as grocery shopping or medical appointments. Some common mistakes that people make when they wear a fabric mask is to wear the mask under their nose, to leave the chin exposed, to wear a loose mask with gaps on the side, to leave the mask only covering the tip of the nose, or to tuck the mask under their chin around their neck when they're not in use. So it's important with a fabric mask that you're always wearing the same side outside. So if you have one like this, um, that you always know what side goes toward the outside, or if you have one that is the same on both sides, just put a little mark so you know which side faces out. And then make sure that you don't touch that outer side, which is the side that's going to be exposed. Um, when you take the mask off and are done with it, you can either leave a bit hanging somewhere um, to air out, and then when you put it back on, just um, touch the straps again. If you're going to wash it, you can just launder it like you would clothing. So just hot soapy water in the washing machine um, and run it through the dryer, and then you'll be good to use your mask again. Um, and it's important to wash your hands before and after um, you touch your mask at any time, just to make sure that you're not spreading any germs to yourself or anyone else.